Today I'll be revealing a long forgotten secret meta build given new life with the prismatic subclass. Just imagine wall hacks on demand, buffed smoke bomb damage, duration and uptime, as well as an insane one hit melee mechanic. If you're looking for a competitive, slept on hard meta PvP build and final shape for Trials of Osiris, Iron Banner or Crucible grinding, then stay tuned because I'm going to show you every aspect, fragment and ability so you get a plug and play build in 9 minutes or less. Let's get started. Today's build centers around the long forgotten exotic Capri Sting. Once upon a time, Capri's was the hard meta. You could smoke yourself and get instant war hacks to decimate your opponents with snipers. Because of that, the entire exotic got reworked into what is effectively the void version of Ahamkara's, insofar as it would buff the base functionality of your smoke bombs. Of course, something very noteworthy happened with the introduction of Prismatic. The maniacs at Bungie buffed the base functionality of smoke bombs in both PvE and PvP. Smoke bombs got bigger, longer, and applied increasing damage over time the longer you stay in the smoke. That is insane, but guess what? Capri's actually buffs smoke bombs on top of those base buffs from Bungie. Now we're talking about bigger, longer, more damage smoke bombs with 500% increased ability regeneration and, you guessed it, war hacks. Capri's means that dealing damage with a smoke bomb grants True Sight, aka War Hacks, allowing you to see enemy outlines through walls from up to 64 meters away. Even the slightest momentary tag with a smoke bomb will give you these War Hacks, throw it within 7 meters of your opponents, and boom, you're now literally cheating. So not only does your opponent get blinded, weakened, slowed, chunk damaged, and damaged over time, now, whenever that happens, they have to deal with you having fucking wall hacks on them. This exotic is absolutely juiced to the gills right now and nobody has realized yet, but it actually gets crazier. Capri's has two other exotic functions that a lot of people don't know about. The first is that if you have a smoke bomb charge and you melee someone, it will explode that smoke bomb in your opponent's face automatically at the same time as you punching them. Now this is great in a normal slap fight because it's almost like you have necrotic grips on and it does lead you to winning some fights that you probably shouldn't have. But here's the crazy thing. The grapple melee also triggers the smoke bomb explosion and the extra damage from a grapple melee plus the smoke bomb explosion results in, you guessed it, a one-hit kill. And you know how much we love one-hit kills here at Mr. Armageddon HQ. Lastly, if you throw a smoke at a teammate's feet and shoot the smoke bomb, the game thinks that your teammate is an enemy for some reason and it'll also give you war hacks for a brief period. It's not necessarily a game breaker, but it certainly showcases just how versatile this exotic really is. Just quickly, settle a very important question for me. Which class and final shape is currently the best in both PvP and PvE? Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll pick one person to carry to the lighthouse this week and it in the draw to win this beautiful emblem. Don't forget also to drop a like and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more builds from me. As a small creator, it means the world to me, so thank you. Okay, now on to aspects. For this build, I recommend you run Threaded Spectre and Winter Shroud. Winter Shroud means that when you dodge close to an opponent, you will apply a slow debuff to them. This means that they cannot sprint, slide, or double jump. Their weapon handling and reload speed is also tanked while they are slowed. Now here's the thing. This aspect is mandatory because the dodge forms the foundation of how to ensure you always have your melee up. That means you'll be dodging your opponents a lot. Whenever we see that we are close to an opponent, whether it's because we are intentionally baiting them around a corner, or because they just happen to be pushing us, all we need to do is instinctively dodge away from them and they will be rooted in place. Now they're slowed, and you've dropped a little mini nuke next to them for chunk damage, plus a free smoke that you can use then, or save for the next engagement. The second aspect is Threaded Spectre, which means that when you dodge, you instantly drop a Strand Clone in your place. The Strand Clone will detonate if an opponent is nearby or once it has taken significant damage. This build is absolutely lethal in close quarters because of the play loop. When you see someone on radar, you open the engagement with a smoke. If they push you, which you'll see because you'll have war hacks, you dodge backwards and slow them while leaving a thread spectre in the way to chunk damage them. Then you can just clean them up however you want, assuming they're not already dead. Of course, because you dodged backwards, you also got your smoke bomb back, meaning that you can now repeat the same play loop for the next person. Next up, let's talk fragments. Alright, now in terms of fragments, I recommend using the following. Facet of Courage means that your light abilities do more damage to target who have darkness debuffs. In other words, smoke bombs and grenades will do more damage to opponents who are slowed. You see where I'm going with this? Faster of Blessing means that all melee final blows will start health regeneration, a very useful PvP perk in general. 
Facet of Protection grants plus 10 to strength and gives you damage resist when surrounded by three or more opponents. And before you ask, yes, this does work in PvP. Facet of Hope means that while you have an elemental buff like Radiant, your class ability regenerates faster. Facet of Dawn, which means that powered melee hits against targets make you radiant. Powered melee final blows make you and nearby allies radiant. And lastly, Facet of Defiance, which grants plus 10 recovery because hunters often struggle for good stats, so we're using some fragments here or there for the stat boosts. Now let's talk about the best weapons to use on this build. But first, just quickly before we cover off the rest of the builds, are you struggling with PvP or going flawless in general? Join my Patreon and get amazing benefits like weekly trials cards with me, as well as crucible coaching sessions. You'll also get access to a private VIP community full of chill, cracked PvP players to also help you go flawless and achieve your PvP goal. In terms of weapons, I strongly recommend having a medium to long range weapon and equipping something for more close range. The current meta contender as of making this video is the Exotic Kvostov, which is dominating trials and PvP in general. For now, you simply cannot go wrong with it. Next up, I can also recommend the Red Death Pulse Rifle as an excellent longer range primary weapon, which is great in terms of both usability and the fact that it will heal you and your team on kills. If it wasn't for Kvostov, this would probably be top of the meta right now. In terms of close range options, you can run with a shotgun if you like special weapons, in which case I recommend something like Matador in the energy slot or Someday in the kinetic slot. Otherwise, if you prefer a double primary load, out. Another weapon I am loving at the moment is the Rat King Sidearm, which was recently buffed to have more manageable recoil. Finish your bewildered opponents, then reload and go invisible with refreshed health. Okay, let's talk abilities. For your melee, you're going to want to use Snare Bomb, aka the Smoke Bomb, of course. Smoke Bombs were buffed with the release of the final shape, and they are now extremely obnoxious. They were already arguably one of the best melee builds in the game, and now they are simply S plus tier. Now, given the strength of Smoke Bombs, as we've talked about, I think it makes sense to run Gamble's Dodge, as it will give you your melee ability back when you dodge near opponents. What this means is that you can basically get your smoke bomb back multiple ways. You can get it back via Gambler's Dodge or through the increased melee ability regen of Caprice Thing if you have a smoke bomb already deployed or via the usual ability regen methods based on your strength stat. In terms of grenades, this is personal preference. If you enjoy speed and mobility with the ability to one hit kill opponents, then I recommend grapple nades. Otherwise, I'd say the best grenade that is excellent at both zoning and damage is the Swarm Grenade. Plus, if you smoke someone and then grenade them, it's also a one-hit kill wombo combo. In terms of super, personally, I am just loving the new Storm's Edge Super, which is basically a stronger version of a Titan Thunder Crash. In terms of mods, I recommend using Targeting, Dexterity, Fastball, Unflinching, Holster, and Bomber times 3. Stats-wise, you'll want to prioritize Recovery, Mobility, then Strength in that order, and ideally, you would have 100 in each. To make things easier for you, you can also check out the dim link below for the Capri Sting build, which I'm currently using with my Hunter. Alright, I hope that helped, and if you're looking for a more explosive Hunter build, why not check out my Bombardier's build over here? In the meantime, much love, and I'll see you all in the Crucible.